All right, this video is to Andy Vegan and anybody else who cares to watch. I'm so proud of you, Andy. I mean, I got a real kick out of your two videos. The first one was like, doesn't this all make sense? Something like that. And then the second one was about why you stop smoking weed. Really nice paired together. Because the first one was, yeah, kind of a downer. It ended with you saying how much you hate everybody. And, hey, I totally vibe with that. And the, But the second one made so much more sense and gave so much more depth. Integration. Sitting in your pain and experiencing it, finding a way to be there, let it wash over you, and choose the next right step, the next positive action of self-love. Things will happen that will hurt, physically or emotionally. The real thing that matters is if you and yourself can be committed to that positive unfolding, that creation. You called it your purpose. You mentioned your purpose. Your purpose to help other people, to be a voice for the voiceless. The animals and the, the other outsiders or people that are trying to find themselves. Yeah, that's great. You helped me already. <laughs> you helped me just with those videos. I'm always trying to stay in touch with this in myself. And, um, yeah, so I just wanted to make this video to reflect on my lessons and say yes, yes, good work, yes, woo, woo. Um, <laughs> so I also quit smoking weed, um, and it's been a couple of, like, waves of it. So the first time I was like, no, not gonna touch the stuff, and then I was like, I'll, I'll, a little bit? a period when I'm in pain and then and then, and then like a little bit more whatever cuz and and then and then reaffirm nah no thank you I don't need it every day three times a day I was on the weed diet who do you know it's on the weed diet a lot of people have done that are doing that whatever and for some people it totally works and that's fine I can't speak to their lives but for me it was like a crutch it was a really really great way to like regulate my digestion when I was eating crappy foods and help regulate my emotions when I was having crappy thoughts and feeling um, lost and disconnected and not dealing with the root causes, not integrating with my pain or my past or my experiences and not respecting my body enough that it worked well on its own. If you need pain reliever all the time, something is really wrong beyond the pain reliever. And if you need a digestive aid all the time, then something is wrong besides the, you know, just the lack of that aid. Your body wasn't built to take marijuana three times a day. You know, it's not necessary. Like, whole plant foods are necessary. I spent a week on the floor last summer uh, really hitting rock bottom and coming to this realization that if I have an infinite capacity for pain, then I also have an infinite capacity for healing. Because things in this universe come in pairs, there is duality. You hear those birds? Yeah, there's all sorts of nice, beautiful little moments and you can put your awareness to either side of the duality at any one time. Ideally, you see down both and you can sit in that, right? I don't understand all of the universe, but I am finding some truths, and that is that if you can have purpose, if you can connect with the larger sense of existence, then it helps you to accept the pain and live in the joy and integrate both for a higher cause. Because in any cause, there are setbacks and there are rewards. And you say that the rewards are greater, or they're more worth it. They're what fuel you. You are an instrument for the good. All things that I wanted to be, but wasn't able to be until I sat with my pain. Until I accepted, yeah, I have things in my past that I don't like. And things that I inherited from my parents, which are tragic. Experiences which are regrettable. 
but they make me unique. They help make me who I am and I have the passions that I've had and the truths that have been revealed to me because of each one of these actions. There is duality, there is contrast, and there is no greater tool for learning than looking at the contrast and picking which side you like better, which side your awareness is more comfortable in. So for me, that journey of healing is the purpose. Yeah, and I wish you luck on yours. Sleep, water, good food, good whole foods, self-care, care for others, you know, point them in the right direction or, or just be a good example. It's good to watch the dark stuff. It's incredibly interesting and incredibly attractive. You can get a lot of energy and power from it. It's power. The universe is cresting in your body and it comes in many, many, many forms. But all of it is intense, you know, as long as you tap into it. And sometimes weed can help you get there, but as with all things which are not essential to the body, there is tolerance and there is unintended consequences. So you can become dull. It can become numb. And sobriety is pretty interesting. You know, and using other plants medicinally is pretty educational and powerful too. It's unfair to just focus on one and expect that to be the panacea. Many problems, many cures, right? Much pain of many different types, many roads to healing. I don't know, I don't know, my drum is one. My drum is one and uh, my yoga mat and my practice, my daily practice of self-care is one of the greatest things I can ask for. It sounds like you're doing the same. So keep on keeping on, everybody. Veganism is about so much more than saving the animals or saving the planet or, you know, saving your body. It's all those things and it's also, I believe, one of the fundamental progressions of consciousness to choose not to inflict harm not to inflict unnecessary suffering. To choose to use the gifts of the earth directly in your body as ingested medicine. Food is medicine. Food is fuel and it's life. It comes and it goes. You come and you go. We are part of something much larger. To be respected, to be appreciated, to stand in awe of. So I stand in awe of you Namaste, all the things. Woo, hell yeah. I think I did it. Yay!